Hey yo, my name is Justin, aka Shinky, and this is Shinky JRPGs. A Yudin Chronicle 100 Heroes is out on April 23rd, and I thought I'd play the companion prequel A Yudin Chronicle Rising before jumping into 100 Heroes. A Yudin Chronicle Rising was released on May 10th, 2022 for the Nintendo Switch, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series consoles, and PC. I want to talk about how I felt about the game and if it should be played before 100 Heroes. Before we get into the video, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, and tell me what your thoughts on A Yudin Chronicle Rising was, and if you're excited to play 100 Heroes. Anyways, let's pop that corn, ice that drink, and let's talk about A Yudin Chronicle Rising. So as mentioned, A Yudin Chronicle Rising is a prequel to 100 Heroes and was one of the stretch goal rewards for its Kickstarter. Rising does a very good job at setting the scene and giving a bit of a background story on the world of a Yudin Chronicle and what to expect. In Rising, you, the player, take the role of CJ, a teenage girl looking for adventure and riches. In her travels, she comes across the town of New Nevea, an up-and-coming town in development. While talking to the acting mayor, Isha, CJ hears about a giant rune lens worth a ton of money. But unfortunately, in order to gain entrance to the quarry, where it's located, you have to have an adventurer's pass, which costs 100,000 baka. Alternatively, you can get an adventurer's pass by helping out the townspeople with odd jobs and filling your stamp card with stamps. As CJ is determined to find this rune lens and lacks the money to buy an adventurer's pass, this is her only option. While completing odd jobs and getting to know the town and its secrets, you meet your two other party members, Garu, a warrior kangaroo, and the aforementioned Isha, who is the mayor's daughter, who is somewhat of an oddity because she's somehow able to use magic without a rune lens. The story of Ayudin Chronicle Rising is very basic and paper thin. I feel, while there is story, and it does get interesting near the end, it really isn't the main reason you would want to play this game. The main reason you would want to play a Yudin Chronicle Rising is to understand the setting and get to know a few characters that you'll meet in 100 Heroes. The game does set a basic foundation and is enjoyable enough, but there are a few things that bother me about it and are all related to the gameplay aspect. A Yudin Chronicle Rising is probably the best fetch quest simulator you will ever play. 90% of a Yudin Chronicle Rising is just meaningless fetch quests. Almost all of them are just collect five of this item, or go check this area and kill this enemy. They're very uninspired and feel as if you're doing the same thing over and over again with no originality. As you do quests, you get to know the various townspeople. They are more interesting than just generic NPCs as you see in most RPGs, and they all have their stories, but all these quests just feel like busy work and get incredibly repetitive, and it gets really old really quickly. As you do quests for people, the amenities in the town do improve, resulting in new upgrades for your equipment, better items or accessories, and entirely new shops and options. You also get money and experience to level up, so they're worth doing, but it can be really draining. While dungeon crawling, the gameplay isn't much better. When I started playing this, it reminded me of old Newgrounds Flash games from the 1990s. The animations are stiff, and there's not much depth to the combat at all. You have an attack, which evolves ever so slightly as you upgrade your weapons, usually just attack upwards or attack downwards, a unique ability that gets a tiny bit better as you upgrade your armor, and you can equip elemental runes to augment your attack slightly. Each of your three characters, CJ, Garou, and Isha, are assigned to a button. On an Xbox controller, CJ is assigned to X. She attacks with pickaxes and has a dash ability. Garou is assigned to Y. He attacks with a broadsword and can guard. And Isha, who attacks with magic, is assigned to B. She also has a brief teleport. When you attack with one character, if you press another character's attack button as you hit the enemy, you will perform a link attack, which can then be linked to another character's attack, so on and so forth. You can increase the amount of link attacks by completing more and more stamp cards. This is basically the extent of the combat, and it gets really old really fast. Sure, Isha's attacks do change based on the elemental rune lens equipped, but it doesn't really change the flow of combat at all. And there's really no real exploration. It's more or less just basic platforming and incredibly basic puzzles. The game isn't terrible, but honestly, 
I only played it because I was looking for something short before 100 Heroes, and I wanted the bonuses to transfer over to the main game. The music of Eud in Chronicle Rising, well, it exists. Composed by Hiroyuki Iwatsuki, known for such bangers such as Wild Guns and Power Rangers Zeo Battle Racers? I didn't even know Power Rangers Zeo had a racing game. Good to know. Anyways, the music isn't too bad, but it isn't outstanding. It's quite whimsical and just happy. It's average and sets the mood, but nothing really stands out as memorable to me. I like the town and Great Forest music though. A Yuden Chronicle Rising is a relatively short game. I did a decent amount of side quests, I think I ended with about 90 stamps on my stamp card, and I finished the game in about 11 hours. Looking at PSN profiles, if you want to do every achievement and platinum in the game, it's about 30 hours long. Not terrible, but it's nice if you're looking for a short game to play while you're waiting on a new release but don't want to commit to something long term. So there you have it, A Yuden Chronicle Rising is not a bad game by any stretch of the imagination, but it's very basic and almost feels like it could be a browser game. Have you played A Yuden Chronicle Rising? If so, what did you think about it? Let me know in the comments and let's get chatting about it. I'm always lurking in the comments and would love to hear your thoughts. If you enjoyed this quick little review, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ding that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Thanks for popping by, thank you for supporting what I do over here, and have a wonderful day. Super Retro